considering the world from my mother who died at the beginning of May a few years ago. When I told you that the hedges are fat with white thorn and how the chestnut candles are all lit, you sighed and shut your eyes as if in sorrow to be missing it. The bluebells that I brought you from my garden already softening, bending their heads. Beyond the grubby window of the ward, sun flared and struck the hummocks of the roof with not a blade of green visible. Holding your hand, the warmth of your grip, its firmness, you didn't want to let anything go. But the flesh of your arm, so frail, petal soft, and your stricken tongue trying to make the words work, all we left unsaid. It was you who showed the world to me, its feasts and flowers and creatures. You were my first world. Remember how you lifted me from sleep to hear the nightingale, wild strawberries you placed in my mouth, the buttercups you held beneath my chin. Now I want to bring the world to you, here in your bed, gathered in your arms, a last gift. And I wonder, is it lost to you, or is it found instead, not broken, but complete, bursting with May and birdsong, as you enter with pilgrim feet the interior of every green thing, each bird wing, sun mote, raindrop, the summer of the dead.